name is Glenis Riva and today I'm going to make this video for the Creative Center. Please stay with me. I will show you step by step how to make this painting. As you can see here, I have uh, the sea, the mountain and a boat on the painting. These are the colors that you guys are going to use for the painting. The first color that you're going to use is light blue. Then the second color that you're going to use is medium blue and dark blue. And here I have navy blue, light green, darker green, and black, and this white. So in total, you're going to use, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. So let's start. Get a brush and use your light blue. I have it here in the middle. Okay. And just paint the whole canvas. Just paint all over the canvas. As you can see here with a big brush. Make sure everything looks soft. See how soft I'm putting everything. Okay, wipe the brush with an eye can you see how if you think you have too much water and go again a little bit more dry. Okay. There you go. Previously I cut this um magazine um paper to give it like the shape of the mountain. You can see it here. So what I did was, I put the magazine over it and use the medium, um, the medium blue. Okay, have to be the other way. So this is the medium blue here. You can see how I'm passing the medium blue. Do it a uh, um do it a few times so it looks pretty. Dry your brush if you think it's too wet. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. This is um, very relaxing for me. I normally don't paint a lot, but lately I'm, I've been doing it because um, I've been staying at home a lot. Let's take it off slowly. And if the water went um, up, just try to shape it up slowly. Dry your brush so you can have a nice effect. I am drying the brush because I'm making a video and I want this paint to dry as fast as possible. But I'm sure that if you do this at home, you have time. I 
Okay, so let's use now the dark blue. And let's put the mountain shape um, magazine again. See? I already have the shade, so I'm not gonna need this anymore. I'm gonna use a clean brush because as, as you can see here, the, the other color went up, so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm cleaning it up with a clean brush before I continue. So now I'm going back to my other brush Okay, damp it so you don't get a lot of, um, so I'm using the darkest shade here, you can see. So now I'm going to go all the way at the bottom. I'm going all the way at the bottom because I have to make some space for the C. And I want the C to be really deep blue like almost like the medium blue not so much but um yeah almost like the medium blue so i'm keeping my shape you see here then i'm going back down putting more blue at the bottom if you stroke the brush from side to side you will have this the effect of the c better you see how i'm doing it side to side side to side Okay, now let's go over here with the dark blue again, okay? Because I want this part to be dark, okay, than the other one. So I'm going, I'm doing like this, look. Like a zigzag, you see? It, it's, it's like a zigzag, so it has the shape of a mountain. So now I'm using a blow dryer to speed up the process. When I'm blow drying, you see that I continue to use the brush because the water kind of like go all over the place. Okay, so now it's almost dry. So let's continue. Now that you already um, have your C, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper again, and you're gonna do the navy blue mountain that we talked about it at the beginning. So let's put it here and use the navy blue mountain. I already did the shape I would, uh, now I take this off put it as far as I can from my painting and let's go over it again to shape up the top part see how kind of I'm going back in on the top of the navy blue mountain and I'm shaping it up I took more paint see here I took more paint and I'm going over it remember that the way you 
move the brush is like making a zigzag to give it a shape okay let's take um a little bit of a clean brush to clean it up i don't want it to be that dark because i'm making a bowl that is black in um in the front of the navy blue so i'm cleaning up my navy blue to make it lighter because the bowl is going to be black and I don't want it to look too dark, okay? So let's continue doing it like a little zigzag. You can see, and then clean your brush with napkins. I'm gonna write every tools that I'm using at the beginning of the video so you guys could see the list of tools that I use. And if you guys have it at home, um, you can do this painting. It's not, you can just go and get it. I know it's, it's not easy to get um, supplies, but it's worth it. Once you start doing painting or any art form, um, you're gonna get just like so into it that you're gonna be always getting supplies to do your all right, my place is full of supplies for all type of art. Um, what I do is I'm a fashion designer, but I don't limit myself to that. I do many art form. I love to learn. I'm always learning something new. I'm always trying to learn something new. Okay. So you see, I clean it up a little bit. I'm also gonna try to use the napkin to clean it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go like this. Make sure that you don't touch the, um, that you don't touch the, the lighter color on top with this color because then it's gonna get ruined, okay? So you see? I'm focusing um, everything, all the attention on the painting. Oh wow, nice, I like it. I like how it's coming out. See, I got most of it out because I want to use, I, I want to do a bowl in the front and if I make it too dark, I won't be able to do it. So now, with a Sharpie and a ruler, see I have it here, Sharpie, and a ruler, you're gonna kinda like put it over it. Let me dry a little bit. Let me just dry it. Make sure that it's good. So now you take um you take a ruler, right? Um almost like um three inches. You're gonna put a line here, then then three inches and a quarter, you're gonna make another line on the top. Okay. And now you're gonna kind of like shape it up, right? Got it there. Then do like a, in the middle, do another three inches, like a, a pull right in the middle, right? And then use like a, another Sharpie, but this one is gonna be more skinny, like a skinnier Sharpie. And you're gonna connect the the bowl on the sides. I'm gonna connect it. Another line here. 
and another here, okay? Let me clean it up. I think it got the pink and it's not drawing that well. So let me just clean it up before the pink gets dry. And let me go over it now. Okay. See it there? Now with the thick one, I'm going to go in the, the middle one here. I just want to go over the middle one here. Okay. So now with the um, black paint, you're just gonna paint the inside with black paint. Dry black paint, don't mix it all with water. You're gonna paint the inside here. You see the brush that I'm using is a really skinny brush that I'm using. There you go, you have your boat there. Woohoo! <laughs> this is so fun. I'm having a lot of fun right now. So the next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna kinda like make like a little kinda like tree here. Like a kinda like a small tree. You can see I'm doing the branches. This is more like a dry kinda like tree. It's kinda dry. You know, it's like in the middle of nowhere. See, I already did it. I did it with a Sharpie because um, sometimes I like to use Sharpie with paint because it made me create like more um, kind of like fine lines and more clear details. So now I'm going to take this again. I'm going to take the paint, the paint, the black paint with the small brush. Okay very quickly see it's not that hard right and then with a sharpie i'm gonna do here um kind of like some birds see some little birds flowing around okay now let's, let, let's get um, some white painting. Well, first let me dry the black because black sometimes is a little bit like tricky and then it could get messy. So let me kind of like dry it. So now that I have my black dry, I'm gonna use some white. So I'm gonna use a clean brush. Then also the the white paint, the use it dry, don't mix it up with uh, with water. So let's do here some white painting. Try to um, use a small brush too and really, really go like really slowly inside so you don't cover um, the shape of what you did in black. Now, can I like use the white? 
use the white um brush and kind of like go inside the branches just really really tiny 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 just to give it like some light to it just not everywhere just in some of them okay it's just giving it some light let's do the other side so here is basically the whole other side because there's no tree here okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a small brush wipe it up and use some dry green painting let's put the green in here just to create the illusion of some build up from the sea I'm using the light green first and then later I'm going to show you how to use the darker green. Let me turn it a little bit so I can see better. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the darker green, mix it up, kind of like put it in the inside. Let me clean it up a little bit. Just mixing it kind of with the blue. I mean with the green, I'm sorry. See, it's like darker green and lighter green. You can see now it's almost done. So let's go back to the white. The white, um, we're just gonna kind of like go like this, really slow. So we can show kind of like some waves uh, on the scene. Now just dry it, kind of like dry it. Okay, let's use the blower. To okay, so it's done. See it here? Oh, wow. I hope um, you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm trying to do a little bit more painting this year. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. So like every artist, you see here, we need to be proud of our work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign it. I'm going to put my name here. And the day. okay thank you for watching if you want to contact us we are with the creative center and all the information is below so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow us in social media thank you have a great day